Hello. How is everyone tonight? So I restarted my laptop and it's spinning. So it's not restarting, which is really bothering me. So um, we'll just talk for a minute and see how things go. Um, I hope everyone's having a good night, a good day. It was a beautiful day here in Langsburg, Michigan. My name's Arlena and I'm stamp with Arlena. And um, tonight I've got a cute card, a fun fold to show you. And uh, talk about some things that are going on, some deals with Stampin' Up. Okay, this is not working. I'm going to mess this up. When you hop on, say hello and tell me where you're from. I'd love to know that. And if you like what you see, go ahead and share my page. That would be great. Give me a thumbs up. That would be wonderful. Okay, my laptop's not gonna work. So we will just continue with um, I guess it's just going to be difficult tonight. So um, I'm actually a couple minutes early. My one clock said it was 7.01, so I panicked and got on, and it's not quite 7 o'clock yet. So we'll just wait for a few more people to hop on. And yes, that sun is beautiful. It's shining right in my eyes. Um, I don't know if it's going to bother you or if you can see me at all. Hello, Robin. How are you? I have thought about you and Scott today and have prayed for you. How's Scott doing? He's probably sleeping, isn't he? Okay, so it's my laptop still updating. Yay. Doing okay. No watching the news. I'm glad he's doing okay. I hope you guys get to go home when you planned. That will be good. Okay. I'm still a little early. It's still not quite so. I got one minute. Uh, so um, tonight we're going to do a card that's a fun fold, which will be really fun. Thus the name. Yeah, that will be good. Hello, Nancy. How are you? How is bacon today? I thought of you too. I was going to call you, and I'm like, no, don't call her. She's she's busy at bacon. So, yeah, I, I uh, started to update my laptop. I thought, oh, it will get done before. I started a half, 35 minutes ago, thinking, oh, it will be done. And it's not. So, again, I won't be able to see your comments. Hello from up north. Yes. Up north was beautiful last week. It was fun to see you, Nancy, and Lyle, and Sharon. So it was fun. We ended up, uh, Dave pulled our camper home for us on Tuesday. 
because our brakes on our truck were grinding and we were just nervous about it. And I think Dave was nervous too. So um, better safe than sorry. So Randy will work on the brakes this week. So we'll be ready to go on our next trip, which isn't till September, but we are busy between now and then. So we got to do it when we, when we have the time. All right. So tonight, um, I wanted to remind you that the whole month of July till July 31st is bonus days, which means for every $50 you spend, you get a $5 coupon from Stampin' Up! to spend in August. Uh, what they do is they send you an email with a code and you need to save that because that code is what how you're going to redeem your $5, all your $5 in August. So um, what I did is I saved my email, but I also took a picture of it because I thought, what if I miss, lose the email or delete it by mistake? So uh, I took a picture of it too. So that will be good. And Missy, hello. Um, the sun is like, glaring in my eyes, but I don't want to shut my curtains because I love the sun. So, um, I hope you're doing good, Missy. I miss you. Uh, we'll see you on the 24th for the Christmas card class and the uh, monthly card class. I'm all ready for them. So it will be fun, fun, fun. Um, so yeah, the bonus days is a $5 coupon for every $50 you spend. And it doesn't have to be all in one order. If you place four different orders during the month, they'll send you four coupons, um, for the five, each for $5 for a total of 20. Um, okay. So we are going to, um, start our card. It's a fun fold and, um, in case you haven't noticed, I have new glasses. And yes, they are bubble bath. I got them um, I got them the first time and they had the bifocal in the wrong place. So now they've replaced them and I can see wonderfully out of them. So that's good. But um, yep, I'm all, all things pink tonight. And uh, I'm loving the pink. Love bubble bath. So um, let's get started. I'm gonna point you to my work surface. My laptop is still spinning and updating, so I'm going to just forget about that. And I'm going to point you to my work surface. Okay. I think you can see okay. Am I straight? Of course I can't read comments, so I can't tell if I'm straight or not. I think I am. I think I am pretty close. So tonight I have um, a um, bubble bath, like I said, and this piece of, of paper is uh, five, five, ah, get my trusty little ruler out. Five and a quarter, not four and a quarter, five and a quarter by 11. So it's going to take more than a half a sheet, okay? We're going to score it at one and three-fourths and three and a half at both ends, okay? So score it at one and three-fourths and three and a half, and then turn your paper around and one and three-fourths and three and a half again, okay? And then, oh, I got to show you something. I meant to show you this. I knew when I set it behind me, I was going to miss it. So um, just a side note, look at my new caddy. Isn't it gorgeous? And it's pink. Um, so my friend Celine, uh, her daughter Alexis makes these and sells them. Uh, she just graduated from high school and she's um, starting college uh, in August or September, probably August. And she's making these on her th 3D printer to um, make some money to pay for tuition and college and all that. You know, it's not, it's not cheap. 
but it hold my it holds my glue and my sander and my gummy eraser and all my tools here my bone folder uh my scissors um i had my take my pick tool over oh, right here duh um my adhesive my glue dots um so very cute huh i love 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 it so anyway um yes so what it, why I went to that is um, I needed my bone folder. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold this in on the three and a half inch line. And then I'm going to fold it back on itself like that. Okay. And I'm going to get a good burnish. Okay. Then I'm going to take the other side and fold that get a good burnish and fold that back on itself and there will be a gap in the middle so it's not it's not going to meet so there's there's nothing wrong with that okay so don't don't think they're gonna come together so then you'll have something like that okay all right all right and then I'm going to set that aside and then I have three pieces of bubble bath that are one and three fourths by four. And you want three of those pieces, one and three fourths by four. Then you want to take your DSP and you want three different designs but but they need to match um three different designs um oh i want that one and that one and that one um but they need to coordinate and these are one and a half by three and three fourths so they fit right inside there okay um this paper is from the pack um, uh, Bright and Beautiful, and it's got all these beautiful patterns in it. I'm going to try to fan them so you can see them. Um, nope, that's not going to work because I've got short pages, short sheets in the back. All right. All right. I'm just going to take this all out. How's that? Because it's not cooperating. There we go. Set that aside. So here's the paper, and I'll try to go slow. So this is beautiful paper for celebration, not just birthday. This makes beautiful baby cards for a little baby girl, which by the way, I'm a great aunt again to a beautiful great niece. Her name is Macy May, and she is absolutely gorgeous and smiles. So this paper is really beautiful. Look at the stars. You could use that for um, veterans. Um, that blue you could use for water, celebration, anniversary, um, graduation, um, you name it, okay? So beautiful paper. And we are using these three pieces. So what I'm going to do, oh, I'm gonna, I'm getting low on my adhesive. Usually I'm pretty good about, um, having a spare right by me, but uh, tonight I don't. So if I get up real quick, that's why. So I'm going to do that. So has, have people, have all of you been crafting? Um, I hope you're being productive. 
make at least one card a week or a project. It can be a home decor or whatever. Um, speaking of home decor, I came up with a, uh, awesome decor piece, um, that, uh, I decided I finally, it finally, a light bulb finally went off and I know what I'm doing for my one day retreat in September. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to love it. Um, hang on. I'm just, I'm going to get some adhesive. Okay, I got adhesive. All right. Um, so, yep, I went, um, I had the bag already. I told you that already. Um, and now the bag does not work with the theme. <laughs> so, I got this item, and I'm not going to tell you. It's going to be a surprise um, because it works perfectly. And I'm gonna return the bags, and um, I guess I could keep them for another retreat, but um, but I do have what's gonna replace it, and I have so many cute things. You guys, you guys are gonna love this retreat. It's September 16th, from 10 in the morning to um, uh, five at night. And we're going to stamp all day. You get a make and take. We're going to have raffles. We're going to have food. Um, yep, it's going to be fun. You guys are going to love it. And seating is limited because it's um, at the studio. And there's only so many spots for it. Um, and I don't want to crowd you. So um, be sure to sign up as soon as I get that the registration out there. Okay, so this is how I'm going to do it. You're, you're probably thinking, Arlena, what are you doing? You, ju you just covered up the whole front of the card. Yes, I did. So what I want to do is I want to put adhesive on this side only. And then I want to line that up. and push that down. Then I want to put the bottom one on. So um, if we measured right, this is going to fit perfectly in here. And then the middle one, we're going to glue on the right side. And again, my adhesive just doesn't want to run today. So we were camping last week, as you knew from my Facebook Live last week, and my brother thought he'd be funny and do a cameo appearance. He's so funny. He's 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 a riot. He is such a riot. Anyway, um, we had a lot of fun camping, and um, my niece um, Maddie actually. Uh, FaceTime me and we made a card together. She lives in Maryland and she was at her grandma's, my sister Sue's, uh, in Virginia. And um, so we all made a card together. So even though we're miles and miles apart, we still get to stamp together. You know me, I'll always make a, make a uh, way. So it opens like this. Isn't that cool? So cool, very, I love it. I, I just love it, I love it. I, ma I made one of these yesterday and actually I already like this one much better. I, I already do, so crazy, crazy. All right, I'm going to get a piece of grid paper just so I have something on my um, table. And, um, of course, with that DSP, it goes with this bundle, Beautiful Balloons. It has the um, dies and the um, stamp set. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually, uh, yep, I have a piece of scrap. Yep. All right, so I want to... 
I'm going to use the big um, balloon. Ugh, I can't speak here. And I want bubble bath ink. And I want very burst. And I think I want, this is going to be really strange. But I'm going to do starry sky. How, do you like those colors? What do you think? Are they, oh, I don't know if they're in the. Cute. I like the colors. I like, like, like. Okay. So I want, um, I'm going to stamp the big one on the scratch paper, or the scrap paper, not scratch, scrap. And I'm going to just um, make sure I got it all inked. And then I'm going to take the die. I learned this trick at convention in April. Then I'm going to take the little balloon and then that way there's no white edge around it. If I stamped the this size balloon and then cut it out, it would have a white edge around it. And I do not want that. So, um, I actually want some of these stars, too. All right. Um, before I put my fist in this, or my fingers, um, I put my whole um, thumb in my black ink about a week ago, and I still have ink under my nail. I cannot get it out. All right. Then I'm going to take my mini Stampin' Cut and Boss and my... Plates are right here. Boy, that one is looking rough. It's pretty, as you can tell, it's pretty uh, warped and very scratched, but it still works. So I'm going to put this on there and I'm going to put that there. Or maybe I want it down here so it has more Okay, all right. And then put my other number two plate on there and then crank it through. And it should go through just like butter. Butter, butter, butter. And then you see the blue, there's no white edge. Kind of a trick, so that's cool. And then I want, then I want, um, the, uh, I think I'm, I think I'm done with this. So I'll put it away. If not, I can get it back out because you saw how easy it is to grab it and get it out. Okay. So now I have these other two balloons. And I'm just going to, okay. So um, I think because these colors are pretty dark, I'm going to stamp off. Um, yeah, big difference, big difference there. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think um, full strength or stamped off? I'll try to read the, the comments. Full strength or stamped off? Hmm. I don't see any comments. All right. I think I'm gonna try it full strength. If it doesn't, if it looks bad, It might 
look okay. So let me, let me do this. And then I want, um, that looks even darker than that one. Maybe it will lighten up as I go. And then I want to, looks like, this sounds like we got a mariachi band out in the, out my window. I'm not sure what that's all about. Okay. And then I want, do I want this one? Um, nope. My laptop's doing something here. It's 42% complete, whatever that means. That's the dark one and that's the light one. Oh wow, that dark is really dark. I think I'm gonna stamp off on this one. Stamp off and there we go. So it's even darker than that, but lighter than that. So I do like that. And then that, okay, I'm gonna clean this. clean this. So this is my simple chamois. It's just a piece of purple foam and it um, holds water. It's not dripping wet. It's just moist. And this is just stained. It's not, it doesn't have any, I just washed it last night. And I keep it in an old stamp case. And that's what I clean my photopolymer stamps with. All right, okay, and then I, I'm gonna leave these out cause I might. <laughs> Can you hear that music? <laughs> oh, I'm cracking up, I'm sorry. Um, and then I'm gonna um, pop this up with a dimensional and I have dimensionals in my little caddy here. I absolutely love this caddy, you guys. It is so cute. And with my name on it, oh my gosh. So cute. If if you're in need, if you want um, to tell people that that is what you'd like for your birthday or for Christmas, I can definitely hook you up with Alexis to, um, to uh, get one. It just holds everything. So I have a I have another container that um, that has a bunch of stuff in it, like that. But I couldn't find my, the stuff I needed. So this just has pens and tied to go stick because you never know when you're going to spill something on yourself, you know. Um, so I have that too. All right. So we've got that. Now I'm going to take, and I have to admit, I have not used this hardly ever. So it carried over from the last annual catalog to this annual catalog. And it's the Starry Sky uh, Metallic Woven Ribbon. But look at that. It matches so well with this paper. I just, I was amazed. So I'm going to actually... Um, um, put some thread. Um, I'm going to try to, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I need scissors. I know I need scissors first. So I'm going to, I'm going to cut three lengths, um, all the same length. And I know I don't need them all the same length, but I want to take them and the ends fray. So um, if, if that isn't the look you're looking for, then you probably don't want to use this ribbon, but, um, I'm going to tie a knot, you know, like balloons are tied together. Oh, oh, I lost it. Okay. Try it again, Arlena. I like tying bows better, I think. <laughs> you know me and my bows. Shoot. I have a bow right here. I have bows all over. 
I had twine bows earlier, um, linen thread bows, and I took care of those. Okay. All right. So that's going to be like that. And then it's going to go um, like that. So I need to know how far to cut this. Okay. Get that piece out of there. This one is going to be tucked up under there, so I'm going to do that a little longer. And then this one is going to be right there. Whew, this is stressful. All right, so now I want... I think I'm going to take a glue dot and I'm going to take my take my pick tool, the pointy end, and I'm going to put that one in first. Put that right up under there. Okay. Oh, it's gonna go up a little further. Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. I've got them going to the wrong place. Okay. There we go. All right. And then I'm going to take another glue dot and I'm gonna you know, like bunch it up a little bit um, because I don't want it that big. And then I wanna take another one for this. Oh, I wanna bunch it up a little bit. And then get all those threads in there. And then I want this one pulled up a little bit like that. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Okay. So this white piece is, um, two and three fourths by two and three fourths square. And then I have a piece of berry burst, um, that is, uh, three by three. And th by the way, that's the color ink, berry burst, bubble bath and starry sky. Okay. So then I want to put my adhesive on here. And I can get rid of that. Put that, center it up and down, left and right. Cute. And then I want to adhere this on the front, but I only want it on this middle strip because if you put if you put adhesive on all three, you won't be able to open it up like that. So I'm going to take my dimensionals and I'm going to put a few here, actually three. I'm almost done. I've got two more to go before I get that sheet done. And then I can have another new sheet of dimensionals. Nothing like it. And then I'm gonna throw those away. And then I'm going to put this on here. And then look. 
guys. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, then I have a piece of white paper, white, um, basic white cardstock that is four by five and a quarter. So it's a standard piece that would fit in the middle of your card. And it's not, it's, it's too big. So I gotta, I gotta cut it down a little bit. Okay. It, it, it fits exactly in there and I don't want it to fit exactly. So I want it three and three fourths by five. Okay. And then I also, before I put it in there, before I um, glue it in there, I want to, I want to stamp on here. <laughs> what are we going to stamp? Um, I think it's time for a celebration. Yeah. Um, Okay, I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna put it on my block and I think I want it in berry burst. And you know what, it's not straight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on my surface and look at it push down and pick it up and then it's straight. Okay, I think it's time for a celebration. And I wanna put it about there. Yay. And again, anything with a red ink, a red tone to it, it's going to stain the photopolymer but it's not gonna hurt it, okay? It's not gonna um, stamp red or any shade of red when you use it again. So um, don't worry about that. It, um, it's, I think it's time for a celebration. And then I think I want happy birthday. Again, I'm gonna put it down and then pick it up. And I think I want happy birthday in the starry sky. Yay. And then I want bubble bath. I'm going to get my chamois out because I'm going to, I'm going to use this little piece of confetti. Um, this is so sweet. So I'm going to put it in bubble bath and stamp it around a few times. And then I'm going to clean it. Then I'm going to stamp it in starry sky. And then in Berry Burst. Oh, that was a stamped off. I think that's good. I'll put one down here. <laughs> All right. Fun. Okay, I'm going to close these things up for, for real now. And then... Then I want to make sure all these are clean. Okay. And I am going to put them back away right now. This is such a versatile set. Th there's so much to celebrate. Um, there are um, little, you know, confetti, a tassel for graduation a balloon thread, um, yay you, you did it, so thrilled for you. Um, I actually um, made one, um, oh, let me show you. 
I made it in the... I'm getting it. Um, that pink. So thrilled for you. Isn't it? Wouldn't that be beautiful for a baby? So cute. So cute. So don't think just birthday is what I'm trying to say. Because it's so much more than that. Okay. Now I'm going to put some of these blocks away. Um, make my space better. Okay, now I'm going to bring my card back in. I'm going to put glue on the back of this. Um, and when I say glue, I mean adhesive. You know, it's your adhesive, your choice of adhesive. Um, there we go. And then there we go. But we're not done yet. So now I have a piece of five and a half by five. I'm sorry, four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to actually glue on the back. Now we got the motorcycles, the mariachi band left, and now we got motorcycles. And I'm gonna stand up to put this down so I make sure that I get it down right. Okay. And I don't want to lose this balloon die. So I'm going to put that back in the folder. And then it's got to have some gems. It's got to. So I'm going to use out of the Tinsel Gems 3-pack and the 4-pack. So I'm going to use these blue ones and some the some of the bubble bath. Actually, that would work well, too. Maybe I'll use... Oh, my goodness. Look at all the different colors you can use. I might have to break my three. I, I always do. Th I shouldn't say always do three. Look at the yellow. Look, that's um, Lemon Lime Twist, and that's what that color is in that star. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going in. I'm going in, guys. I'm going to do this beautiful blue. Okay. And then I'm doing, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so, I don't know what to do. Um, I'm going to do a berry burst and a, I think we need more. I'm going for it, you guys. What other color? Oh, I'm going to do this one. It looks like, um, Lost Lagoon. Yay. Yay. All right. So let me just, I'll just put these away later. After I'm off camera. I don't need to take time to do that now. Okay. So we have this card. And it opens like that. And look at all the celebrate. It looks like a party in there. So, so stinking cute. So stinking cute. Okay, I can't see your comments. So, oh wait, my computer might be up. I can read them better on, on my uh, laptop. Okay. So what do you think? Oh, let me show you the one that I did yesterday. And I used retired product. So um, this designer series paper you can't get anymore. Look at that. 
cute. Cute, very different, but same style. All right, let's see if we can get some comments here. I guess I can point you back to me. Hello. I definitely want to make this card. <laughs> right even though you can only get one out of a sheet um because it it takes five and a quarter instead of four and a quarter so it's a little more than half a sheet it is so worth it so worth it i can't do it when it's upside down yep so so cute so um yeah um, you look good in sunshine. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hi, Deb. Oh, thank you, Robin. Oh, I, I'm so happy. You guys make me feel so good. Um, so, yeah. Um, remember the bonus days. Uh, for every $50 you order, uh, you get a $5 coupon to spend in August. Use the 12 by 12 paper. That's tr That's true. You could. You could definitely get two out of a piece of 12 by 12. Yeah. Smart thinking, Missy. Um, I don't have... I think I only have black and white in the 12 by 12. I think. I think. Anyway, I know I have black. but um, And then my one-day retreat is sept Saturday, September 16th from 10 in the morning till 5 at night. Um, again, the, the, um, the theme is all crafting, all crafting, because I love crafting. If you order $150, do you get three coupons? Yes. Yes. And if you placed, let, let's say you placed three separate $50 orders, which if you knew you were going to spend 150, you want to do that because then you get your host rewards. But let's say you placed an order in the beginning of January or beginning of July and then one this week and then one toward the end of the month you would get three separate emails with three separate coupon codes on it and you could redeem them all in August um, if you spend $150 all at once you'll get three coupon codes in one email and again don't lose that email because that's how you you're going to redeem it with you, when you use your code. Hang on just a second. I'm going to show you. Oh, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, oh, here it is. So the retreat Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited, um, is going to feature the Crafting With You bundle, and uh, it's got all kinds of fun things, and we're going to obviously have a make and take packet where we make several cards using this bundle. We are also going to make a home decor piece. You will be spoiled with pillow gifts. And um, what else, what else, what else, what else? The lunch is provided. And um, so I just came up with the theme last night, actually last night, and then I solidified it today. So I'm going to work up um, what, it, what the cost will be, and then I'm gonna post it so we can get the registration out there in case anybody wants to sign up. Again, seating is limited. Um, due to the size of the space that I have, the space of the venue. Um, so don't hesitate if you want to sign up uh, because once it's full, um, you can always get the to go, get it to go, um, but it's always so much fun to stamp with, with people and have fun and laugh and learn new things and uh, learn ideas. Um, techniques. Um, you can always learn something. I always learn something. So um, I'm very excited about that. And I know you guys are going to love the stuff that I have. And I am so, yeah, you can tell I'm excited. Okay. I'll calm down now. So uh, that is it for tonight. Uh, again, um, I'm not quite sure what this is called. 
Um, I did not come up with it on my own. I can tell you that. Um, well, I have to turn it toward me to shut it. Um, I did not come up with it on my own, but, um, you know, we're all about sharing and copying and, um, actually the one that I saw was done with the one horse open sleigh DSP, you know, those beautiful sceneries. Um, and she did it with scenery and, oh my gosh, it was so beautiful. So beautiful. Um, but I like this idea a lot, 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 lot. Okay, I will get off for now. Um, I'm also, um, I feel like um, having a Facebook Live just once a week, there's too much time between Thursday and Thursday. And I feel like I am I need to talk to you guys more and show you more. So I'm trying to think of um, another day that I can do, the, do a Facebook Live. And then what, what will I share with you? So I've heard and seen some comments that people are wanting basics, like basics, like people who are just getting into stamping. Because when you get into stamping, um, of course, this, this card isn't a good card to, to say because the, the measurements are, are very different than a regular standard base. So... I think I'm going to talk about, you know, how to cut a piece of cardstock, you know, what the dimensions are, how to fold it, um, what a score line or a score blade does, you know, just, just take it right back down to basics. Um, and then actually show a card that is just a simple beginner card and then a more um, avid card and then an advanced card. The same card, the same uh, tools and everything will be used, just what you do with it. And you'll see that all three cards are still beautiful or still cute, but there's just different levels of um, uh, complexity, if you will. So um, I hope that that will work. Hello, Mary, good to see you. Be sure to watch the replay. Um, so, um, I'm thinking about doing that. And then, um, I'm thinking about Tuesdays, um, because my Mondays and Wednesdays are already taken. And I think Fridays, people just want to relax and not have to think or anything. So, um, if you want to give me some feedback on that, if Tuesdays work for you, or if another day works for you, and maybe we can work together and figure something out. Um, other than that, I hope you all have a great weekend, um, and um, I think I think that's it. We've got beautiful weather. We had rain yesterday and last night and through the night. Um, our grass is finally green again, so I'm happy. Now we got to mow it. All right, you guys take care. Thank you for watching. I so appreciate you for um, watching and supporting me. Um, and supporting local and small. I love you guys. Bye-bye.